up everybody welcome back to dr andy adventures thank you so much for joining me you guys once again on my brand new adventure today i am at work <laughs> i am at work and i am on call so today you're going to be experiencing a day in the life of a doctor on call in icu this is what i do my name is dr andy if you don't know and i work in icu and so I am on call today. What does that mean? It actually means that I'm here for 24 hours. Now, most calls are 24 hours for doctors, but not all of them are 24 hours. Some of them are 16 hours, some may a little bit less. But basically, it just means that you're going to be in hospital for a very long time and you're going to be sleeping throughout the night in hospital. Not sleeping, but you're on duty. That's what I'm trying to say. You're on duty in a hospital throughout the night so when i am on call i come in at eight o'clock in the morning and i leave the next morning at around 10 11 or so once i've handed over to the team that is coming on during the day so yeah it is a very long time to actually be in hospital that's like one of the debbie downers of being a doctor is the calls the calls are not great guys i'm not gonna lie because you are awake for long periods of time, you are super tired um, because you are on duty for long periods of time and you are expected to function at your optimal pace at all times, saving lives, functioning at your pace at all times um, for a long periods of time. So calls are quite a hectic. They can be a little bit better depending on the day. Also, you don't know what kind of call you're gonna have. You can rock up and have a good call and it's not that busy you don't have that many patients and your patients are not too sick or you can rock up and have a terrible call you admit too many patients your patients are sick they are dying and it's just too busy and there's so much going on and it's a hot mess that call and you don't even get an hour of sleep or an hour to rest so you never know how your call is going to go so which makes you have pre-call anxiety like listen a pre-call anxiety is a thing usually when you're going to be in call the next day or even the day of the call it's just you get this thing where you're like oh my gosh what's going to happen i think it's the fear of the unknown you're like what is going to happen am i going to have a big call am i not going to have a good call you don't know you don't know what's going to happen but once you hear i mean we're used to it so once you hear you're like okay let's get things going let's start let's work you know what i mean but yeah you never know it just can turn around at any time it can be bad at any time or it can be a good call but you never know so right now i'm sitting in an on-call room let me show you what our on-call room looks like so this is this is the door neck and then from there we just have a cupboard over there and that's just an extra computer there um, we have a bookshelf right there and there is this single bed. Usually most on-call rooms will have like a single bed and a desk situation. And this is our desk and that's the chair we are sitting on. This is our desk and there are plugs right there where you can plug your computers, I mean your cell phone or whatever the case is um, to charge or whatever it is that you want to do. And there is a sink right there to wash your hands your face or whatever it is so that's our basically our on-call room here in icu so on-call rooms uh, can be different depending on where you're working but usually it will have a single bed and it will have a desk most of the time um yeah and the bed is there so that you can rest so at any moment or at any point where it's a little bit quiet and um, there's not too many people patients or you get a minute you can go and rest you're supposed to rest especially at night however if there's no time if there's too many patients or if you are too busy obviously you're not rest so it all depends on how busy you are whether you rest or not and also even if you do not have a lot of patients like for me it's very hard to to rest as in to sleep because i am at work and so at any moment or any time i can get called so that's why they call it a call because you can get called at any moment at any time 
So usually the sisters take care of the patients. They usually, the sisters would do, sh do, do shifts. There's usually a day shift sisters and night shift sisters. So the the nurses. And um, they usually stay behind with the patients um, in the ward. And if um, they need you for anything, they will call you. But it depends where also where you're working, which ward are you working in? Are you working in casualty, peds ward? Like it depends also on the ward you're working in. There might just be like a constant influx or inflow of patients and you don't have time to even sit down or do anything. And that happens sometimes. Well, it, it does, it does. So when you do get an opportunity, you do go and rest. Uh, you're allowed to go and rest in this bed. However, I cannot. Like, it's very hard for me to sleep. I'm already a light sleeper. I'm on a long call. It's even worse, obviously. When I, because you can get cold at any moment or any time. So, yeah, that's the gist or insight about on call, being on call, and what that means. So, I am on call. And, yeah, so for now, it's a little bit chilled, a little bit quiet my patients stable and okay in the ward for now <laughs> i am waiting for an admission and um so i'm gonna go and do that once my admission arrives and an admission meaning a patient that's coming to my ward to stay in the ward so coming to icu that is an admission so yeah that's what i'm waiting for as well and then we're just gonna see how the night goes guys i don't know All right, you guys, so right now I am actually sitting in the doctor's room. This is the doctor's room and I am going to type. I'm going to type in this computer. I am typing my admission. I just admitted a patient whose kidneys are failing and requires to be dialyzed. So dialysis, we do it if someone's kidneys are failing and basically they are unable to function and they're unable to clean the body. And so you need a dialysis machine to, to be able to clean out all the gunk and all the stuff that the kidneys do. So the machine does what the kidney is supposed to do, which is clean out everything that is not supposed to be in the body. So yeah, so I need to do that. I need to type up my admission right now. And then, yeah, this room is really cold somebody has the aircon like really low like do you have this problem in at your job like because you know you know those common areas where like different people sit in those rooms and the aircon is just blasting and nobody can agree on, on the right temperature this is one of those rooms there's always a disagreement on how much the temperature should be but since i'm just alone right now and everybody else is gone i am going to adjust the temperature actually i'm just going to switch off the aircon right now because i cannot it is cold in here <laughs> i'm a bit tired so i'm gonna have some supper some to have some supper i'm having some pasta and some chicken so yeah, I'm going to have some supper because I'm a bit tired and then I'm going to have some water. And then, hopefully I'll get a chance to rest. <laughs> Hasn't been too bad. It's just been constant, like, busyness. But not too bad. cross fingers let's stick with this one so ultimately on core i have to have breakfast i sometimes have my breakfast in the mornings here at work and then you have to have lunch and you have to have supper and then the next day if you want to have breakfast again you can also have breakfast again the next day snacks in between water in between drinks like whatever drink you want to have in between 
uh, fruits in between so carry as much as you possibly can listen i carry a whole situation of a bag that looks like a picnic bag because i mean you're here for a very long time so and the last thing that you want is to be hungry you're already uncomfortable you're already not sleeping you're already tired you're already feeling sleepy you don't want to be hungry as well so no <laughs> so this is my lunch bag this is this is actually the lunch bag that i carry um, to work every day and it's usually quite full so yeah i'm gonna just eat guys i'm tired i'm exhausted it's like 11 p.m right now and i've been going to the ward back and forth back and forth back and forth solving problems and issues and situations oh my goodness like i haven't had like time to sit down and just or like relax and watch a youtube video <laughs> Because that's what I usually do when I just want to distress. I just relax and I watch a YouTube video. Um, but I'm going to take an hour of doing that, relaxing, watching a YouTube video or something. And then at midnight, I have to go and take bloods on everybody in the water. So, yeah, let me just relax just for a second. And then midnight, it's blood time. You guys, I'm extremely tired. It's about 1 a.m. 1 o'clock in the morning and I just finished taking bloods on these patients. And, oh gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted. You know, people just start complicating out of nowhere. This is what happens in ICU. Uh, one minute this patient is fine and doing fine and then the next minute they're not. And they're just doing all kinds of things and they're not fine anymore. <laughs> they just start complicating on you. So you can be stuck on one patient for a very long time. Stuck there doing different things, trying different things, trying different patient management methods, treatments. Gosh, procedures, investigations, tests. Take it, gosh, 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 gosh. I'm just at this point, I just want to rest. So, for now, it's a little bit stable. So, I am going to try and have a rest. Let's cross our fingers, everybody. Everybody, let's cross our fingers and our toes that we are going to be like this until the morning. It is four o'clock in the morning and my night was not that bad because they didn't call me a lot and wake me up too many times but yeah so not that bad I'm awake now I am gonna wash my face and then I have to go to my blood results do summaries for my patients and Hopefully, fingers crossed, wait for the ward round and nothing happens before then, okay? My ward round is usually at 8 a.m. And so, we just hope, we just hope that nothing happens before then. <laughs> no drop. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. This morning is terrible. Like struggling for the for days. The patient deteriorating to constantly. Ah, it's much going on. 
Oh, it's so much going on. It's so much going on. It's so much going on. Guys, <laughs> I'm in the car. I've handed over to the doctor coming on for the day. It's about half past 10 right now, the next day. And when I tell you that all hell broke loose at 5 a.m., all hell broke loose. 5 a.m., that's when things just started going haywire. Literally, everyone was fine. Everything was okay, like stable. And then all of a sudden, I had this patient who was just deteriorating for days, who was just going crazy. Uh, oh my goodness. And then all of a sudden, everybody was calling me. Doctors from other units were calling me. And all of a sudden, everybody wanted to send their patients to our ICU. And all of a sudden, I had two admissions. And all of it, like, it just became crazy. In the morning, this is what happens. You never know what's going to happen. And literally, it can just get crazy out of nowhere. And it just literally did. And right now, I'm extremely exhausted. Extremely tired. My body is painful. I am hangry right now because I am tired and angry, okay? <laughs> oh! gosh i am so exhausted i just gosh i just don't want to be here anymore i call this post call syndrome and it's okay it gets cured by a, a nice shower and um, a nice meal the most amazing meal you need to get a, a like the best meal post call and it gets cured by resting and sleeping I think I just need those things and then I'll be fine. But gosh, this morning, like, I don't know what happened. Like, crazy. I just want to go home now. So I'm going to go home, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on my call. Uh, yeah, things go crazy. Things can really go crazy on call. So, yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this video on the comment section below. And uh, just please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.